made it. Our flight is at 9. And we got here at 6.30. And they weren't open yet. So we just like chilled for 20 minutes and then we went to our gate. I mean, sorry. And then we went to check in and there was a dog behind us and he made it so cute. Check-in process actually took a little bit of time. Our bags were... Uh, our bags were 106 pounds. Not bad. Honestly, not bad. We were pretty nervous about our bags because we don't have um, travel scale, which is so stupid. Like, I'm literally going to buy one right now after I finish this. Because um, Michelle had one when we traveled together and it was like so convenient. We have arrived at the hotel. He is stunning. Blake's over here already taking pictures. And this is where we'll be for the next five days. We made it. We made it and all of our bags made it too. It was touch and go there for a minute because we have air tags in our um, in our bags and John checked them right as we landed because we only had like a like a 45 or 55 minute layover and it said that John's bags were 700 were in Luxembourg. <laughs> we're 700 miles away. And then Look at by this. the grace of God, somehow it like reloaded when we were at the baggage claim and it like reloaded when we were at the baggage claim and then John's bag is suddenly here and then we drove 20 minutes here. Such a nice driver. Um, and then we get to our hotel and we're like, whoa, man. Whoa, this is a really like pretty this hotel. Is next, this is next level. Hotel. And then we go inside and it smells so nice. It's just so different from like. We've just been like, we've been saying. Like, really nice hotels, nice hotels but, but, not but they were like nice boutique -y. I feel like this is like, this is like. A, a spa it, retreat. Yeah, this hotel. is like a resort. And we like haven't been staying at those uh, for the past. I don't know, two weeks, and wow, look at that boat, babe. It's crazy. Mm. I can see. Um, this is so crazy, and it's such a nice day, and we just can't wait to like literally not do anything, because we've just been like bopping around, I feel, and although that was so fun, I feel like we just need a few days to literally just chill and eat yeah, and for yeah while. exactly and this room he when we were checking in he said that it was like one of his favorite rooms because there's only two of these and when we walked in we were not expecting something i never expect to have like multi-window views ever anymore it just doesn't exist no and this has like one two windows. three four five a, six windows What's it's a room? corner of a um it's a corner of a building what that is another window it is so it's a corner of a building and they basically made Baby. every single area a window so we have like I think I showed it already but we have a win two windows there and then two windows there two windows here one window here so there's just like crazy light coming through and it's just it's such a beautiful view out of every single window it's just so freaking pretty. It's absolutely crazy. How are we gonna and this, this to be open? Water is fucking nuts. It's absolutely insane. Like what the fuck? Like it's insane. And it's like so aesthetic too. Like how? Like it's so blue. Like that's the bluest water I've ever seen. And like cleanest. Like it's green. Like yeah. It's the bluest water I've ever seen. And like cleanest. Yeah, green. Yeah. But like I feel like we don't need to go anywhere. I should return that no, from the scooter. No, we really are not. We can go in right from there. I know, I see. I know, over there with the people swimming. Wow. And they have restaurant down here on the water, which we're just going to be at the whole time. We're not leaving. Uh, I, don't I don't think we're going to leave. I don't think we're going to leave. You rented the scooter. Yeah.
menu looked really good. We just ordered a lot of food and I think we're trying to get this not to order. I have that on the other camera. Yeah, but we'll just do it on this one. Um, basically, we ordered three starters and um, a, a main salad. Okay. No, two starters, a salad and a main. And um, she said it was too much. And we were like, because I told her before, we just like to try a lot of things, you know? And so we got to do that before, like multiple times on multiple different occasions, probably like five times. And we've always like kind of backed down because it's like, okay, like they probably know best, you know? And this time we were like, no. And every time they do that, like, I could eat more. Like it's I, so yeah. far, it's never happened where I've been like, oh, I'm so glad they said that. Like, yeah. It's yeah. never happened. And so um, we sent it and we're going to see how it goes. But the menu looks really, really good. And I even wanted to order two additional starters, but I kind of like do them up. Yeah. I think we're going to probably stay here and eat here a lot of mm -hmm. nights because it's really pretty and yeah. super nice. I can't wait for breakfast, actually. This is our table. So it kind of doesn't get much prettier than that, except that. Are you gonna get the accoutrements? That's good. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. Enjoy. Thank you. Wow. So, is it okay? Oh, look at that. Wow. Ew. It looks amazing. Wow. This looks so good. No. Not only did we finish the entire meal, but we spied her and ordered dessert. That we started with that said we want to order. She like in the waiting on us. Um, she like has other tables, so this other person was waiting on us, and I'm sad that she didn't get to see the full of that. But we did. Um, She's gonna see us eat desserts, and on the way out, I'm gonna be like, it was so good, and definitely not too much. <laughs> it's just the right amount. It's so weird. The sunset though. Nice and polite, so like, oh, we're opening up the porch. <laughs> it like looks so good. Look at that. Wow. Also, look at this. This is the coolest utensil I've ever seen. <laughs> and then they also got these crackers. Crackers? We're gonna have to go to work. But everything. That looks pretty work. Yeah, it's already work. Mm -hmm. yeah, Pajmina night too. But yeah, Blake ordered the uh, ten person paella. We're so happy that we didn't order this last night because we would be able to finish it. Good morning. Hello. Hello. Another pretty day. It looks like there's a wedding about to happen. 
and we heard something about it, but now we're seeing it set up. So it, it may be a 100% truth. I'm trying to figure out where they would do it because that area is a little bit skinny, but maybe it's a small wedding. And we're going to scooter today, I think. Yeah. It looks a little bit overcast, which is actually nice because it's really hot when there's no uh, cloud coverage. And Blake is not a sun baby. She's more of a clouds mm -hmm. baby. Yeah. But uh, so far, this place is awesome. Another day, another breakfast. Time for a scooter day. I rented this through the hotel and we're going to take her out to some coves. Turn right onto this one's harder to drive than the other one though. Oh. We made it to the first beach. This scooter is actually more difficult to drive She's than the other scooter, one. Though. She's a little squir she's a little squirrely. Yeah. Um, the other ones have bigger wheels, so they're a little easier. Um, but we made it to this beach here. Yeah, we're just gonna go like beach hopping and just like see things today. I also don't really know how the parking works here, so I, think it's I just parked it. Because I just saw something. Someone say that even the car parking is free. But why is there a car meter thing to pay? Yeah, here's one of the beaches. These are all just like public beaches. Yeah. It's crazy. And there's an island out there, some seats up there. Mm -hmm. Found another cove here. Some big ass yachts over there. The water is super blue. So we parked at another place. It looks more like a harbor, but there's our little hauler. Mm -hmm. Kind of reminds you of South France. Yeah, and we were told not to park where we tried to park. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the roundabouts are cool. We tried to stay off the main highway because we only have a 50 cc. Yeah. Um, the guy said though, on the website it said you had to have a motorcycle license to get more, to get a 300 cc, but I don't think we need that at all. No. <laughs> Blake, Blake doesn't license. like to go fast. No. But it said he needed an international license, but then I asked him and he said, no, it doesn't matter. Oh, okay. Cool. So now we're going to walk into this harbor and see what's going on. Just doing a walking tour today, guys. Yeah, just a little nice, relaxing day. Yeah. But it's so pretty here. Like, look at how, it looks like Palm Beach meets yeah. Nice meets, like we were saying, kind of like Manhattan Beach. Because yeah. it's very hilly. It's the Caribbean. And it's just like the perfect weather because it's not too hot. Yeah, I'm, I'm really grateful for the cloud coverage. So, so yeah. Cute little cafe here. Oh yeah, it's definitely is giving me like home beach for sure. So These cute. fucking yachts it's are so crazy. Cute. Look at this cute little table. Whoa. These boats are crazy. <laughs> what the fuck? No wonder it looks so nice. Oh, this is where the mega yachts are. Yeah. Alright guys, this is the biggest boat ever. I don't think I've ever seen one this big in the marina. Yeah. Or in Marina del Rey. Maybe once. Marina but not that not that tall. Like look at how tall it is. This is just like probably a little bit, maybe like a quarter of a mile past the boat. And we're gonna see if this beach is cool. And then we might grab a, like a little appetizer for lunch. Pretty. Super pretty. Oh shit. Oh my god. 
See if I can zoom in on it. That thing is insane. I wonder what that person does. Owns an oil field. He probably does, you're right. Absolutely what crazy. What does that guy do? Attack Tycoon. Attack Tycoon. Wow, it's crazy. And the sand, it's so nice because they actually have sand here. Yeah. Right? A lot of beaches in Europe don't have sand. And there's a lot of beaches with sand. And this one's like super cute and right next to that harbor. Look at that drink. Look at that. It literally tells you what it is. Latte, macchiato. <laughs> nice. Um, so we got some drinks and just hanging out. I feel like I'm going to be able to find a iced coffee in Amsterdam now. Yeah. I think I'm going to be able to. Yeah. Um, it's mostly like English people from England. London. It's pretty crazy. London and it's wild. Love a good people watching because now we can understand their conversations. We just had lunch um, by the yachts. It was really good. It was like a solid pizza. Honestly, and I ha we had a California roll. It was like so refreshing. Oh my gosh, these dogs, these dogs, babe. Get these dogs. Very cute, very aesthetic. And we had a really good meal. So yeah. now we're gonna go see- cappuccino. Now we're gonna go see a beachy area. Also, we're putting all of the the food recommendations as per usual in um, out of the out of office app. So it's just like easier to like navigate versus like if you were to come back to this video, you'd have to be like, okay, where, where, do, they go? where, where are they? do they go? Let me like scrub through the video. So it's just easier. We also like send it all to like our family and friends too. Like it's just easy that way, you know? Yeah. Some more yachts. Yeah. Made it to the water. It is so pretty. So we went and saw a bunch of beaches. And we decided that that one next to our hotel is is perfectly good. But it was cool seeing like like going on the moped. I feel like. It was cool, like experiencing that. I love a moped in Europe. Like, it's an absolute There are pros and cons to a moped. Con is like, I feel like there's way more pros to a moped than there are cons. But the two or three cons are that a, like, you can't really go like shopping because like, are you gonna no carry truck. it back? Yeah. B, it's kind of like weather dependent. Like, you can't really go if it's raining versus you can in a car. And then C. If you're going like more than like 30 minutes away, like it kind of can get a little tiring, you know? Like my legs feel a little bit wobbly because I feel like I'm just like holding on. Those are my three cons. Everything else is a pro for uh, Vespa. I'm a Vespa girly for sure. Going to the spa. Cool, because it's really warm and it's drizzling a little bit. for a rain swimmer. Night three we eat at the same Night three at the restaurant. Tomorrow we're gonna eat out. Um but we're finishing we're top we're we're topping off is that the thing? We're polishing off the menu tonight. Um, I'm gonna get the table of four national artisan cheeses and the gnocchi, and then John is going to get the salmon tartare and the, the fish. And we're eating inside tonight, yes. and it's like super cute um, because it rained a little bit, and also I think it's because there's a wedding outside. Yeah. But this is where we usually eat. Um, but tonight, tonight is inside. It's super cute. I have a little band here. Every night we've been getting these um, 
and Louis Bouges. Yesterday was um, uh, crab croquette. Oh, it was so good. And today is a little uh, shrimp. A little, uh, come on. Blake ordered a <laughs> cheese plate. I need the bread. And I got the salmon tartare, I and it looks super cheese. good. Vodka. Made it to the city of Palma. It's pretty crazy. Uh, this is cute here. And although this is a cute outfit, I just feel like the pics that I could have taken here are so cute. All right guys, so we woke up, had breakfast at the hotel, and then we got ready and we scootered over to the city of Palma. And it's really, really cute. We like it a lot. And I wanna come back for dinner already. We've only been here for like, I don't know, 20 minutes and it's adorable. The air conditioning space, guys. That's why I'm sardined in here. Um, we just got back from Palma. It was about 15 minutes on the scooter ride, and it wasn't that scary, like on the scooter at all. We just took like the surface streets, basically. Um, went right by like the marina. And it was so cute. John made fun of me for picking the worst, the, but like it was the worst lunch spot, but it was good. But he was just like, like, I just saw it online. So I was like, okay, like that's fine. I'll, we'll just go here. Like looks like it has like Italian food and like pizza, whatever. It was called like Pizzeria something. I'm going to insert a picture of the outside. It was called Pizzeria Scott It literally, it had a picture of a pizza that was like vinyl on top of the restaurant. And every other restaurant was just like super fucking cute. Okay, and, but it did have good pizza. Alright y'all, we just ate, so we went light. We did some salmon, some soup, and some salad. Soup, salad, and We're not wait, salmon, tuna. Not salmon? Yeah, so I'm like excited for the soup because I love a, I love hot soup, and I love the chill soup, so hold on. Except that one. Just had probably not, not the worst, but not the best dinner. It was a hundred dollars, and we got we got for fucking nothing. We got chilled sauce, um, a little bit of tuna tartare, and some Caesar salad. Like I think that I was, I always ask John, I'm like, oh, how much is it? You know, I keep tallying my head. I was expecting him to say like fifty bucks. It was like a hundred dollars. Yeah, hundred bucks. I literally thought that he was kidding. I was like, you're joking. He was like, no, I swear, I have to. I wouldn't recommend that place, guys, but 
we should have just like came here. We made a reservation beforehand and we should have just like came and walked around because like there's a lot of restaurants.